Hello everybody, welcome back to Ace Academy. Kyrie wants us to wake up. Let's go. How did you get in here? Nikki let me in and told me you were still sleeping. Now wake up! It's time to sleep. You sleep too. I'm not what? waking up. I reach out from under my bed and grab Kyrie's and then pull her into me. Uh? She loses her balance and torso falls on top of me and my bed. Hey! Let me go! She begins to pull away but I hold her close. Her face is inches away from my own and her hair tickles me as it falls around her face. I gently kiss her. Kiss. 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 That's how you say kiss. <laughs> I gently kiss her cheek. She pauses and I can feel the warmth in her face as I kiss her cheek again. Join me. Uh. No! We have to! <laughs> I lost Sundarais and I'm, I'm not gonna deny it. I really love Sundarais. Jeez, guys, at least close your door. <laughs> and Mom makes a look on disgust for closing the door for us. Kyrie breaks free from the grass and leaves away from me as soon as she hears Nikki's voice. Nothing's happening. I hear Nikki's laughter clearly from the other side of the door. Likely story. Well, then we have faces in bed and I thought possible. Kyrie pops. <laughs> get it. I was just teasing. I'll get up. Oh my god. You might want to look away for a second. Why? <sighs> <laughs> because of this. <laughs> Very hard time and walked away from you idiot! Why are you naked? <laughs> I'm not naked. You may as well be. It's not like I was expecting anyone to show up in my room this morning. So? Are you trying to tell me you always sleep naked? <laughs> well, you idiot! Hurry up and get dressed. <laughs> oh. What? At least wait for me to leave first. Why? You already seen them. That's not the point. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I slide out of bed and grab my clothes. After I get dressed, I let Kyrie let back into Kyrie into the room. While I head to the washroom to freshen up when I return, Kyrie's already sitting at my desk. She looks as a j up as a joiner. <sighs> Here. A tablet pens and notion as I look set up books and notes. I open the transmit set. These are the templates I use for my study guides. I thought they might be helpful for you. I'm impressed as I scan through the template. Kyrie definitely takes the study seriously because these are really toro 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 whatever guides. <laughs> Guys, this these looks great. Okay, let's get to work. Okay. A few hours later, Kyle leaves. I got my most of my classes with her to help quiz me and feel pretty confident about her, our session together. After I walk her to the bus stop, I come home and head straight for my bed. I do a nap in ten seconds before I know I'm fast asleep. I woke up feeling that really hits the spot. There's something. There's a lot of time before I don't know. If I wonder if anybody's... Let's meet Mayu! Let's have... Uh, actually, let's meet Show because I've never met Show in alone, so why not? What's up, Brosef? No! Uh, what? What do you mean, no? You can't call me Brosef. Brosef is your name, Brosef. <laughs> ah, okay. What's up? What are you doing this fine evening? I don't have any specific Excellent. plans. I'll meet you at the Izokaze Park. Cool, let's go You'll to the park. See. see you in a few. Cool. I mean, we have never met, uh, met Show outside of our normal conversation, so why not just meet him now? It'll be fun meeting him now. When he's not a romance option, it feels good. <laughs> Cause I don't want to- I like- are, I'm like interested in his, his origin story and stuff, but I'm not interested in doing some gay shit with him. <laughs> so no, thank you. What's all this? It's a festival, of course. Which- which one? Jeez, you don't know? No, I should have. Of course, everyone knows it's the festival of dongos. What? I just told you, they sell all kinds of dongo here. <laughs> but why is there even a festival when they sell, they can sell dongo? Does it matter? Now come on! <sighs> wait, aren't we going to wait for others? This might just be a two-man operation. You have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. Excuse me, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> and she won't let you hang out with your guy friends? <laughs> That's a shame. I didn't think you'd get whipped so quickly. Hey, I didn't say that. You certainly implied it. I have a girlfriend too, remember? You don't see shackles on me. 
I opened my chains by mistakenly. My chain. You're joking, right? It's reading week. She has me constantly studying and studying only. <laughs> it's like being on house arrest, man. I barely managed to escape. We never get in school. We never just get reading week, all right? Yeah. What she's doing isn't this isn't know. bad. But sometimes it's good to just recharge the mental battery, Jeez. you know? I my chain. Get on my Let case, me just. But I can trust you, Brosif. Let me just put my chain, all right? Cause, jeez, my chain, my chain. There we go. My my chain of my pant. Goddamn chain came out loose. Sounds more like you thought I wouldn't be studying. <laughs> Was I wrong? I wouldn't say that. Then let's get started. The Adventures of Brosif and Shuck. <laughs> Or you should just call me buy it. Whatever that is. How much for that? She should watch his costume. Interesting choice. Is that a new thing you're into? It's a souvenir for my girlfriend. What? You can't go buying souvenirs? <laughs> Why not? Because now I'll have to buy one too. Sure, you can get one too. Oh, not this. I can't get the same one as you. She might find out and then she'd be upset. Okay, then we'll look for some Ready somewhere. For some food? Always. That's what I like to hear. Okay, we sat down in the edge park as we settled and the setup up approaches us. Hey boys, are these seats taken? Uh, yeah. It's really nice of you to save us seats. Uh, well, uh, Do you go to Ace? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's a pilot. In, he's a pilot program. Pilots? He's a so well, man. The girls look at each other then go. What are you doing after the festival? Uh. Actually, we have plans with our girlfriends later tonight. Aww, really? <laughs> Both of you are already taken. Oh well. Yeah. Well, if you guys ever want to hang out, I'm sure we'll be available. No. G goodbye. No. Block. <laughs> Block. Sway of their hips. No. What just happened? We got notice. The magic of not being single. You don't know. You're f forbidden fruit now, Mr. Shinjuro. Huh? What do you mean? Now you have that you have spoken for, get ready for a lot more attention from girls, my friend. That doesn't make any sense. How would they know I already have a girlfriend? We just met. They have got a secret sense for these things. You know how women are. They have a lot of secret senses. True. True. Carry yourself with much confidence. You don't spur. But who uh, who needs who wants to talk about psychology of I think that was a fluke. A fluke? Yeah. I've tried so hard to get a girl's number before and met with a 0% <laughs> success rate. This was just a random outlier. Hmm. You don't sound convinced. Oh, jeez. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Just a minute. I just... I just... I just... Put my headphone down. You're wrong. Okay, here, watch. What's this? Retreats back to me and goes look sad. Look, what is all that? I tried to get her number, and then she was about to give it to me. What is happening? The younger me would have killed for this power. This power that I cannot yet. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Valerie gave me her number on the first day of the school. Yeah, first day of her her school, not. Mine. I was already at the academy. <laughs> That's cool, dude. I'm a I'm a college guy. <laughs> Once we go home, good to know. Are we going to Alden? Yep, we're going to Alden. Let's go. I'll let her know my name, and it's not long before I'm let into engineer's office. Uh, thank you for agreeing to meet with me. My pleasure. How may I be of assistance? I have a few questions about the core technology scene at Ace Academy's match yesterday. What questions? Ask on easy to test what he'll tell me. How's the technology in it? I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to divulge company secrets. Really? Really now? Really, I'm interested. My apologies for the question is unclear. I meant how Akira was able to do, enable the overdrive your mode during the match. Yes, I understand. Unfortunately, that is not something I am at liberty to share. I was able to give me that information. How come this man won't? 
Something strange is going on. How are you able to engineer the non-course overdrive power? The technology is not common. Though. I apologize, but I can't disclose company secrets. Really? I should have seen that coming. If if they're so tight hip, does that mean there's somebody business, some shady business going on? I'm not sure what's going on here. As far as I'm aware, the technology has not been m m made available. So how is the addition suddenly built into care? Again, I'm sorry, but that's not something I'm at liberty to discuss. He's just saying, uh, obviously this conversation is going nowhere. My frustrating reason my tongue loses. And what do you want to dis can dis discuss? So far, that that's the even only thing. I don't appreciate that tone. Then I don't appreciate you stringing me along like this. Why did you agree to meet me if you had no intention of talking to me? If you ask me a question I am at liberty to answer, then I will gladly answer it for you. The only answer I need for the questions that I have asked. I'm sorry, but it looks like I won't be able to help you. I'm not leaving without answers. Then I'm afraid I will have to call for security. I stared him definitely picks up the phone in the maritime two boggly guys uh, show up in the office to grab hold on. Let me go. I can't leave until I get some answers. What is the meaning of this? Danny Roos? Why are the guards trying to forcibly remove this young man from the premises? We're just following orders, sir. I am the order here. Thank you. Uh what is this all about? Uh okay. I'm sorry, but I'm kind of looking for some answers. Just a simple question. What question? In regards to old ride from the East Caddy match yesterday. You are a student here? Yes, a pilot. Come into my office. Perhaps I can help you. Sure, yes. Okay. Now, explain to me how I can help. You're the pilot of Eagle? Yes. Your gear caused quite a bit of intrigue in the R&D community with your unique core. Then I, how exactly are you allowed and able to possess that technology? We partnered with Midori Energy to develop the core. Midori Energy supplied the schematics and, of course, the Illudian team worked hard to build and refine it. I have Link. Midori Energy does Midori Energy Inc. That is that company. I'm surprised Dashu, being an energy drink company, was able to acquire the technology before it went to market. But I don't think I will get it in Yeah, I guess Dashu has their sources. I don't doubt it. I'll have to take this. I don't. Thank you very much for the meeting. I appreciate your time. You're an interesting pilot. Perhaps our paths will cross again. He nods in dismissal and asks my phone. And so phone while leaving. Okay, I've always thought that this was a project for the two of us. But it's, th if that's not the case, then maybe they had something to do with it. I shake my head, trying to free myself from these stars. I can't tell. I need to clear my head and calm down. Someone is free right now. Uh, hello, Kauri. Hello. Hey, Kauri. Hi. Are you busy? I am just about to head to the daycare. It's going to be an extra busy day. Extra busy? Yeah. We're understaffed. Since hey. One person is on vacation I'm. I'm there. Another person called in sick. I'm in. Maybe I can help. Hello. If that's what you want, then I guess you can help. But don't forget it still works. Yes, ma'am. Don't start <laughs> this again. Yes. Uh, before I can finish food. Oh well. I'll not be late or Kyra will be angry. Okay, so basically my dad's company sold that secret. I don't, that doesn't make sense. But whatever. Considering there are no kids tagging along, I think it's safe there to stuff. He passed through one of the children's playroom and continued in the office in the back. Kyrie is there with another guy who discusses something I can't hear. She nods and greets him when I enter. Once everyone gets situated, the guy clears his throat. Hello everyone. I know we haven't had one of these staff meetings in a while, but it's going to be a bit busy today since Daichi is on vacation and Hibiki called in sick. Luckily, Kaori's friend has offered to help out, so we'll only be short one man instead of two. Hi, I'm Shambo Venblaze. Nice to meet you. Glad to meet you. I'm Eito Iwasa. Since we'll have to do a little shuffling with coverage, here are everyone's roles for today. Okay. Since you're from Ace, we'll have you tutoring the older kids. Cool. Kaori and I will attend to the toddlers and younger kids. Uh, wait. Kaori, you want to be tutoring with me? Uh, is there any way I could help Kaori with the younger kids? I don't mind switching if that's what you're more comfortable with. 
How much experience do you have with younger kids? Not much. A few months? Less. <laughs> Younger children need a lot more attention and guidance than the older kids. You can take care of the older kids. Aito and I have more experience, so we will take care of the younger kids. Eh. I can tell Tyrus and I. I'm not pleased either, but I'm by my tongue. They have a point. I don't have an experience with young children. So it's irresponsible to them to place me in there. Fine. When everyone was assigned, the group slowly disperses. One of the staff offer, offers me to take me to the tutoring room. I thank them and follow her into the room filled with between four to uh, four to sixth grade. Cool. Seeing if the kids uh, kept interrupting to ask questions about myself, they were especially curious because I didn't look very Japanese. They asked me about wh where I was from, what was it like home, what it was like to be a pilot. Uh, close on their home, but it was a lot tougher than I expected. I finally, finally, I gave up and answered the questions. Once the questions out of the way, they were able to focus on the homework. Although they tried hard, most of the children had difficulty grasping the material. I could tell they were frustrated, so I tried to think up different ways of explaining them the same things, which helped immensely. I listened to my Kyrie is so adamant to be there for these kids, even when they're she's exhausted. After a while, it looks like everyone is on track. Knowing that Ita and Kyrie are alone still makes me uneasy. I'll go see how Kyrie is doing. It doesn't make, it doesn't take me long to find the young kids. All I do is, I had to do was of all the sound and shrieks of laughter. I gently push the door and see Kyrie surrounded by kids. Both of their her arms are full of kids and one even hanging her back. The rest hug their legs. Although Kyrie weakly protests, the huge smile on her face gives away her true feelings. I have seen her be this happy. A chorus of meek Miss Kyrie circles her as the children comp compete for her attention. Suddenly the ch child on Kyrie's back slips with a sharp wheel. She grabs uh, to a strap on Kyrie's clothing. Careful! Uh, child softly on the table. I got it. He gently places the strap onto Kyrie's shoulder. I wait in secret glee for impending doom Ito had inflicted upon him, so the touching her. But to my surprise, Kyrie doesn't re react. As Ito tries to take one of the kids out of Kyrie's hand, child looks at Ito for a second, then burrows her face into Kyrie's shoulder. Kyrie laughs. I don't think she wants to leave anytime soon. Ito laughs too. I can't really blame her. No adopted girlfriends. Yeah, guys, never do that. Unless you have a doubtful girlfriend. <laughs> uh, yeah. And especially don't doubt a Sundry. Talk to Kari in private. I stride into the room. Kari glances as I approach and smile falter. She looks at me with curiosity and concern. Can we talk? I don't have been severe because she blinks in surprise. Then nods and places the children in the back end. I'll be right back, Aito. No problem, we'll be fine, right kids? Children had gone quiet when I entered, but Ida's orientism brings them back to life. Kyrie leads me through the hallway out to the room. As soon as we are outside, my emotions get better on me and I can't hold them anymore. Uh, what was that? What was that? Ugh, Ida's touching you, anyone even care? Huh? What are you talking about? He put the strap back on you. Uh, I look something like I'm an idiot, and now I've sounded out loud, I feel like one too. Why would I care about that? Because... Because why? Uh, so I can't find words to explain and silently flew. Well, just because... You aren't making any sense. You're acting like a... She freezes and glances sharply at me, that looks away as she blushes. Uh, hold on! Aito and I just work together! You and I are... Uh, you know... Gently, uh, Kyrie grabs my hand and squeezes it gently. I relax slightly at her touch. So you have nothing to worry about, okay? She still doesn't make eye contact, but her look has softened completely, making her seem strangely vulnerable. Seeing her exposed like makes me like that makes me still feel silly for acting jealous. Okay, you stand in awkward silence before Ita pops and said it. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt, but the kids are getting restless without you, Kaori. This happens every time they see you first. They forget all about me. Uh, Kyra blinks that chuckles. All right. She gives me a last assurance, then hands back. Ita glinkers beside me. Is everything okay? Yeah, my girlfriend and I had just something to talk about. Er. Uh, hey, man, I'm really sorry. She doesn't talk about her personal life, so I had no idea. Otherwise, I would. not Well, you know now. So back off, and we'll just be fine. Ever pause, he speaks again. You are one very lucky guy. I know. 
<laughs> I know. I know. It's a slender egg. Come on. After hour passes by in blur, and before long, the parents trickle and they take a lick their children. The kids whine that they want to stay longer with Miss Kyrie, but their parents urge them home. After all, the kids have gone to stops, wave goodbye to each other and pack up to go home with you. I catch up with Kyrie. Uh, t to my surprise, Kyrie approaches me first. I acted superly today, and now that we talked it out, I feel like I'm about to get here without a year for. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, that's my expression. What? <laughs> I made you feel... Um... Uncomfortable. I thought about it some more. And I maybe should have been more clear to Ito to begin with. Uh, it's not your fault. Kiss and make up already. Uh, uncle! How long have you been there? Wait! What are you doing? I turn around to see Uncle when both holding her. I must document this momentous occasion for your children. <laughs> I like that. I kinda like that. Alright, I like I like this OST. I really want this OST in my PC. I have a lot of cool OSTs in my PC anime based OSTs. Basically my hero, more like my hero. I have my hero OST, I have bleach OSTs. And and then not much other do I have? I think I have I have seven deadly sin OSC. There are two OSCs, I think, for seven deadly sins I have. What? D don't say ridiculous things like that. Give me that phone. No, I cannot. <laughs> uh, skillfully keeps the phone just out of her. Uncle Miguel. You will thank me one day, my sweet. I can't help but laugh at the sheer ridiculousness of the situation. All in all, today was a good day. After I get him, uh, I drive home. I'd like to down if this OST is like a uh, original OST. I would like to download it, or maybe even if it's not, I would like to download this OST. It it's very soothing. Oh, good, you're here. Where are your rubber bands? Uh huh. <laughs> rubber bands. I need them. Why? Do you know where they are? Yeah, they're in the bottom. What is she planning? Thanks. It's just rubber on the nozzle sprayer next to faucet. Uh, she puts her phone back. I. Where <laughs> she takes it. Uh, what's going on? As soon as Kato comes out, I want you to block your number and call his phone. Why? Just do it. It'll be worth it. If so. <laughs> so I do as a. Keep watching. Kato, are you going into the kitchen? Do you mind getting me a glass of water? No problem. Thank you. Uh, Kyra picks up an empty glass and <laughs> uh, he puts it on the glass beside the sink as he focuses on his phone. When he turns on the faucet, the rubber band forces the water spray down and catches. Uh, uh, Yuki, this isn't funny. I think you damaged my phone. I need this for work. This is serious. <laughs> Relax, your phone is fine. Clearly it's not. It's frozen. <laughs> no, it's not. Give it here. Oh, uh, jeez. I just changed your wallpaper. Funny, right? <laughs> okay, though, your face. Oh, my God. One day, Yuki, you are going to give me a heart attack. That is true. Don't say things like that. You were in on this too? <laughs> I thought you were on my side. I was forced to. I'm more, I, I'm, I'm more like Kaito more than y Yuki in perfection. Uh. All right, fun one. Since this was all your fault to begin with, you should be the one to clean up the kitchen. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh. Uncle Kaito, I need to tag something. It involves my dad. What is it? Yesterday during my match, Akira's team, Akira's gear went into overdrive mode. The same overdrive mode your core can do? Yeah, I confronted Alloton after the, about it this afternoon, and they told me Midori Energy was the one who supplied them with the technology. That was your father's company? Exactly. Was this technology a research project he was working on for the company? 
I don't know. He never mentioned anything to me about it when he, we were building Eagle. When I discovered Eagle had the ability, I assumed it. it uh, I assumed it was Dad uh, that had created just for me, but I'm not sure. I'll have the PI investigate Midori Energy and see if there are any connections. How about a little TV time with my two favorite boys? Where's Nikki? <laughs> Same here. Is Nikki home? Not oh, yet. Okay. She is such a busy bee. She can join us when she comes back. All right. Let's go. Uh, for first time. Um, okay. Yeah. Long day. Long thing shot. Good episode. Let's see. Oh, wait, what? I was in uh, Nikki since the start. Uh, she started working at the restaurant. Although I didn't have classes this week, I was still busy at school. Maybe we can catch up today. Oh, let's continue. I don't mind continuing. It'll be a little longer, that's all. Hey, bud. Sleep well last night? Oh, uh, yeah, thanks. That's good. Feeling well rested? Yes. Great. What's going on? Oh, nothing. We just had a small favor to ask. Yeah, so small, just teeny tiny. That doesn't sound promising. <laughs> yeah, I'm just nodding my head no. <laughs> We're a little understaffed at one of our restaurants. I knew it. More specifically, the one Nikki works at. Okay. We were hoping you could come and help out. Really, that's it? I guess I could help. I don't have plans right now. Perfect. He said yes. <laughs> you can't back out now. What? I'll be in the car. Come out when you guys are ready. What? What did he mean by ready? Don't worry about it. Nikki? It's nothing. The restaurant's just doing a theme today. Oh no. One of maids in a cafe. Oh no, maid cafe? No. Not happening. Uh, le Leslie, I turn around back her back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Somewhere that's not a maid cafe. Really? Yes, really. <sighs> okay. Yeah, Nikki looks down. Oh no, not. I, I just thought that you'd want to spend some time with me. And it's just a tiny request. But if you can't. It's okay, you can't. Uh, woman tears, man. <laughs> uh, fine, I'll go. Okay, good. Hurry up and get dressed. Oh, how did can you? Oh my god. Oh, my last choice an outfit, but I look pretty damn good. Uh, Looking sharp, big bro. I think so. Let's not keep Kaito waiting any longer. <laughs> That's a good look for you. No. Oh, no, I'm not working. I'm just the chauffeur. No. Oh, there's no doubt about that. No. Uh, butler. Really? You all good? Really? Yep. This is going to be so much fun. No. I mean, butler costumes are cool, but no. I mean, no, like, really, no. I don't like this. I can I serve? To? It would be my honor to serve you today. Uh. It would seem that you already have in good hands. My apologies. Oh my, what a gentleman. Nick gives me a dirty look when the table isn't paying attention, then looks apologetic. Oh, um, I'm so sorry. You were here first. She pouts. Please forgive me. She's adorable. I'm losing them. No, it's okay. And sis, your care and attention is at the level I strive to achieve. You're too humble. Your ability to predict a customer's needs is commendable. Oh my goodness, what a cute couple. Couple? Uh, a couple? Uh, hold on. I think you have the wrong idea. Nikki, you finally did it! I knew it. Even other people can see it. W what? You guys, what are you doing here? Oh. It was only a matter of time before they kindled their relationship. I'm so happy for you two. Uh, no. They really are lovely together. Wait, you guys have it all wrong. Yeah, we are actually brother and sister. Wait, despite being siblings, they are true to their hearts? Uh. It's even more romantic what? than I thought. Uh, uh, no. Uh, uh. Oh shit! No, no, no! He's my brother. We are not in that kind of relationship. <laughs> this 
isn't an anime. These things don't happen. <laughs> I do love my brother. Oh my god. No, let me finish. I love my brother as my brother. But what you guys are trying to hint at will never, ever. I ever think so. There's a way to get it to get that, but I don't want that. I don't want incest shit in my story, alright? What about his DLC? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, jeez. Oh. oh, I don't know why that got to me, but oh, oh my god. Oh, jeez. No. Oh. Whatever that means. Oh, oh my heart. Oh. How was your day, bud? I hate you. Oh, it couldn't have been all bad. You guys hungry? I can whip something up. <laughs> sure. We can't say no to Aunt Yuki's delicious cooking. Aw, thank you. Uh. Ordering takeout is not cooking. Uh. Well, someone had to cook it. Oh, that, that one line. <laughs> can you have for TLC? <laughs> wow. Uh, You're hopeless. I'm gonna make a compilation of this full full playthrough. I don't care, cause this this there are some events in this game that are damn funny, like really really funny. Uh, I can't play. Uh, that was like shit. That was like real real good. Uh, by the time I reached, I said I seen her at register and collapsed into my bed. End of the episode. Next episode, I'll see you. As always, peace.